the monstrosity on top of your head. Did you kill it? Or is it still alive in some sort of larva state? What? If Air Mozart were here, he'd be repulsed. It's a piece of plastic with two lenses in it. Give me a break. They have some sort of spy camera or binoculars inside. I can't see any other reason for such an imperialistic contraption. Just because you owe Hollywood a pound of flesh doesn't mean you have to vituperate me. Is that how you see it? You think I'm the one vilifying Hollywood in your precious jet? He's a movie star. Think Lady Macbeth procreating with Himmler. They don't need me to profane their names. Then why are you doing this? My normal, effervescent, and whimsical self presenting my scrupulous views on the movie industry and your dear little boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. And he's given me a lot of information about Genoma, which by the way, he doesn't even like Genoma. He's the chauvinistic mind police of the brainwashed high society. Men like that aren't kind. I wouldn't even call him civilized, let alone intelligent. He likes me, Fawn. And I think I might like him. Then you're further off course than Odysseus ever was. You can't seem to remember that your father is dead? I think you should go now. Why is it that nobody ever believes the voice of reason? <laughs> Just admit you're jealous. What the hell are you talking about? Ever since I won the Little Miss Boron contest, you've always been jealous of me. And you've been jealous of me and my dad because your dad never gave you the time of day. Fuck you. 